and another woman that could take your spotlight. Plus story time on how we met. I had got pizza from Harlem Crust Pizza, which is one of the best pizza spots and in I Harlem. And I got Chinese food from right across the street. <laughs> Bada <Bam. laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss a banger. I'm not going to name the college we were attending, but we both happened to go to the same college. And she was basically stalking me. You ever watch the show You? Yeah, she's him. She was stalking me for months, just watching me, seeing how I move and shit. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So then one day she came up to me. I'm working at um, a booth because I was like selling tickets and stuff like that for raffles and um, people will win prizes and stuff. So I was working at a booth in my school and she was on the basketball team and like the gym was right next to the booth. So she was just, I guess, I guess she would watch me. <laughs> and I seen her in the bathroom one day and I smelled something. I smelled something good. So I go check. She's in the bathroom rolling out. So that's how she initially caught my attention because she was just rolling up and I had not smoked for months. So I'm like, shit, I know that smell from anywhere. So yeah. So I seen her around. And she was the most, I mean, she was so beautiful. She still is so very beautiful to me. But you know how when somebody just catch your attention and you just there, you just staring at them, hoping that y'all make eye contact or something. She blonde, so I was making eye contact with myself. I never wore my glasses. <laughs> she blonde. So she's saying I was stalking her. Nah, I was making eye contact just with the blind version of her. <laughs> okay, she she just never saw me. Okay, but yeah, you know I, I would go to the gym. I would stay there for like four, five, six hours, play basketball back to back to back. And whenever I came out, I always looked to the right, and there she was. And um, honestly, I went up to her one day and I was like, "Excuse me, do I know you from somewhere?" I wouldn't know. You don't know me. She mm -mm. said, right over it, no girl, you got the wrong person. Like, I thought she was pressing me, like, a random girl just walked up to me, like, do I know you? Like, her face expression, like, I was, I I was, was like, nervous. who's she coming up to? She coming up to me. Mm -hmm. I was nervous. I'm sitting there like, um, do I know you? And she's like, well, to me, she came up aggressive, so <laughs> we were both about to get kicked out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I I just I was so nervous. I was super super nervous cut walking up to you. So I never walked up to her again. After <laughs> she said no, I never walked up to her again. So what I did was um I befriended her her friend um some girl that used to work at well technically work at the booth, technically not work at the booth. I don't really know. But I seen her in the gym. So I'm like, "Yo, What's going on with your friend? I, I approached the girl one day. She just so happens to be around the booth passing out flyers. And I just seized the opportunity. Like, that was probably like the day after. That was probably like the day that you said you seen me rolling up in the, bath in the bathroom. I'm not sure. I know it. She was talking to a girl that I knew. And um, they were like becoming friends, I guess. And then, and then she ended up just like staying at the booth for like, like a couple of hours. 
Yeah, because I didn't um get off of work till like four, and most people finish their classes. Yeah. Most people will finish their classes around two, three, so there will be less people around. But she was still there. So, of course, I'm like, you know, she cute and all. Like I said, the first time she approached me, I still thought she was cute, but I <laughs> thought she was pressing me. So, but then when I seen her again, I'm like, damn, she cute, you feel me? And she just stood at the booth, and I knew she was staying there for me, but... I had to play it off like I don't know you feel me and she had told oh, a girl God. who also was working with me told her like oh, okay um I'm shy do you think you could tell her what was you what did you say I was like excuse me do you think you could get her Instagram for me I'm really shy like she's making me <laughs> really nervous but I actually really want to get to know her more like she's so beautiful and the friend was like, all right, girl, I got you. Next thing you know, Tati come over, hopping, skipping. Hey. So, what's your Instagram? After that? Yeah, because, no, you asked, I think you asked if I want your personal Instagram or your business Instagram. So, I'm like, I want your personal Instagram. You feel me? So, like, we started texting, we started talking and stuff. And, of course. I'm honest, so I had to let her know, like, I, I was talking to someone at the time. If I really wanted to be with someone, you know, you have to start off the relationship honest. So I was like, there's no way I'm going to start this off as a lie or try to hide anything. So I was honest with her. I was like, you know, I talked to someone. And at first she didn't care. Like one or two days go by. All of a sudden, she's just texting me and texting me like i don't want to be friends no more and i'm confused i'm like okay what you did know i do what you want as a person i wanted to kiss her every time i walked into the train so it was like it was really hard for me like i waited a couple of days actually i waited like a good three days but then i, I put my foot down i was like listen you clearly feeling me i'm feeling you you don't like the person that you're talking to Regardless of the matter, if you liked the person that you was talking to, you would not be talking to me. So I took it as like, let's speed up the process. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm a, I'm a, I would like to say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a real gentle person in certain areas. Like I go on dates. I took her on a date to IHOP. That's another story time. But to go on a date to IHOP, you know, I I knew what I wanted out of her, and I did not want her to consider me as this friend because I did not consider her as no friend. I consider her as friends with benefits. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I know what I wanted you to be, and I wanted you to be my partner. I wanted yeah. you to be my girlfriend. So but I was like, I was confused. She gave me mixed signals. So then she posts one day. We're on the phone, and she's gonna post. A picture of her and be like, who wants me? I'm like, if this girl, she better stop playing with me. Like, what's going on? You just said you liked me and you over here playing games. You want to know why, though? Because I had told her, right, <laughs> that I liked her. She did not say that she liked me back. She just thought, oh, but you knew because of the way I was acting. No, honey, we grown. Talk with your big girl mouth, okay? Tell me that you like me. Tell me you want some of this goodness. Don't just sit there and think you about to have the best of all worlds. Because you're not. So I basically was telling her, like, all right, we, we're about to see. Excuse me. Who want me? And she got pissed off. And from there, I just knew. I was like, yeah, like, she liked me. And, um... Yeah, I started planning the dates that we were going to go on. And... So, anyway, a couple of days go by, we're talking. We're in the school bathroom. Um, Ooh, It's late. She invited me to one of her basketball games. So, I stood. You feel me? The game ended. We go to the school bathroom. And, wait. That's not how it went at all. Oh, I decided... To throw Nutella at her. <laughs> yes. She don't like Nutella, so I threw Nutella at her. She went to the bathroom to wipe it off. I went to the bathroom, and she sprayed me with water. Mm -hmm. 
fast forward, we started kissing. Things started getting a little hot in there. <laughs> but we just kissed, you feel me? That was our first time kissing. kissing and it was... It was amazing. Magical. <laughs> like, I knew from that kiss forward that she was... I knew I was right. Like, as a person, you could just tell. Like, you could just... You know in your heart when somebody's, like, right for you. And I couldn't really tell if she was right for me, but I knew that I was, like, I could never get bored of her. Like, <laughs> I knew that she, there was something about her that was just irresistible. Once we kissed, babe, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I considered you mine. So then, right, I invited her over. I was dorming. She wrote me, and she was like, she wants me to eat with her. She don't like to eat alone. I text her, like, I just ate. Like, I'm not hungry. But she keep, you know, insisting that I eat with her. So I'm like, okay, she want me food. She came over and we ate. After we ate, you know, we're cuddling, whatever. Things got a little freaky deaky. <laughs> Honestly, from there, she moved in. That's really what happened. Like, mm -hmm. she spent the night. And after that, it was spending the night every day like i just yeah, I didn't know. want to sleep without her i didn't want to be without her not at all but the first day i went home the first night i went home at two o'clock in the morning my mother was calling me my dad was calling me <laughs> everybody was calling me so i went home the first night the second night was a taco night and oh, that's yeah. when I stayed over. Me and my roommate, we made tacos for all three of us. She tore the whole taco apart. All she wanted was ground meat and ketchup on her taco. That's when I really didn't like tacos, okay? I knew there was an issue right there. That's when I really <laughs> didn't like tacos. I need to make my own tacos. You get what I'm trying to say? And they had, they really had, they didn't really, you guys didn't have no lettuce. You just had pico de gallo. You just had tomatoes. No, we had some cheese. We had the salsa, the taco seasoning. We did have pico de gallo, you know, the onions, the peppers, the tomatoes. We had lettuce. No, you yeah, didn't. Y'all didn't have lettuce. Anyways. But Anyways. yeah, basically, I just ate, and that taco was nasty. I, I ended up throwing it out because it was way too much ketchup. <laughs> You, you the one who put ketchup on it. Who put ketchup on a taco? I mean, I put ketchup on my tacos. I knew I would never cook for her again after that. And she's been cooking for me ever since. Yeah, food that you like. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, so definitely after that, she spent the night every single day. Like, we were inseparable. Just <laughs> inseparable. I mean, I brought my clothes to her house. To, yeah, to the dorm, and it was, that was it. It was over. You were stuck with me. I kidnapped her, guys. Word, you were stuck with me. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much how we met. The mm -hmm. beginning of our relationship. Yeah. And I thought she was a whole guy, because, you know, when she gave me some zombie zombie the first night, I was like, uh, uh. By the, by the way. <laughs> That was my first time ever being that spontaneous, like, ever being spontaneous, like, ever. I mean, she came out with the with the Nike shorts. Oh, she had just got out the shower, too. You could tell she had just got out the shower. She had had hot out a little spaghetti striped t-shirt. I was like... I mean, of course, you gotta be clean. I mean, not only the first link, every link. You need every to be link, clean in right. general. So I made sure I shower. I made sure I shave. You feel me? Just in case I was going to get some in our bed. Word. <laughs> Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below any other videos y'all would like to see. Make sure you turn on your post notifications and subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for all the love and the support. We are on the road to 1K. So, peace. peace.